Hi crafty friends, it's Donna here from Donna is Playing Paper and as I'm recording this, there's a typhoon raging outside so I hope that the noise is not too distracting. Things are just a bit wild and woolly but we're not in any danger. Today's card looks at using elements that are the same and elements that are opposite to try and have a card that's both harmonious but also has impact. Looks like my hands have got started without us, so let's join them. I'm starting by ink blending a piece of paper with a trio of colours. The purple and yellow are almost opposite colours on the colour wheel, and so I'm not putting them next to each other. Because when we blend opposite colours, the resulting colour in the middle is usually either a brown or a grey of some sort. But this pink is lovely in the middle. This cardstock, by the way, is one of Paper Rose's pre-cut card fronts. I'm going to use both the card front and the pre-cut and scored card today. You can see that the first layer of ink blending wasn't particularly careful or smooth because I'm going to go over it again with the butterfly trellis stencil and a lot heavier hand with my ink. My feature image is also going to be a butterfly, so it's great to have something that's the same in the background, these butterflies. But one of the things that I love to do is to use opposites, that is, to combine things like geometric lines with soft flowers so that the card ends up neither too regimented nor too chaotic. When I've gone over the top with the second layer, I'm blending in roughly the same places, but stretching the colours around a bit to add a bit more interest. I'm stamping my image using a Copic friendly ink Memento Tuxedo Black in this case, and I'll stamp that a couple of times to get a nice clean image. I'm going to colour that with Copics in the same colours as the background. And I hope you've got your all direction eyes on, because as I've held the markers up to the camera, I realised that they're in all kinds of directions. I've included a little bit of the colouring for you, but not all of it. For the flowers, I'm putting the darkest shade in the center of each petal and then shading out. And then I'm doing the same thing on the butterfly wing half of this image, which is to put my darkest color in the center and at the bottom of each section of wing, and then to shade through to lighter colors from there. I'm going to cut this butterfly out by hand. I'm going to leave a white border around the outside because those antennae are just too fragile to cut exactly around. The 
The sentiment for today's card says happiest of birthdays to you and it comes from the black and white sentiments set. I'm going around the outside with a black marker to hide the white core of the card. Any marker is okay for this, except probably a Copic marker, which will blend in too much. And then it's just a matter of constructing the card. This pre-cut panel is already just slightly smaller than my card base, and I'm going to stick that down flat and pop the sentiment out with some foam tape. And the butterfly is done using a mix. The wings have foam tape and the centre is direct stuck to the page. The foam tape that I'm using at the moment is fairly flat and I probably could have used it double, but at least this way I know it will go through the mail. I'm going to pop up a few more close-up pictures of the card. Feel free to subscribe. Bye for now.